Good afternoon, almost good evening, YouTube. It is 5.08 p.m. starting the vlog. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. You just gotta take a break, set the camera down for almost 24 hours. I feel pretty proud of myself. I feel like about twice a month I have to set the camera down for 24 hours. I still film that day, but uh, just to take a little break where I'm not hitting that start stop button, you know, every 30 minutes or so. It's Sunday, hard day of rest, just resting out here on the patio and uh, trying to sell these urns on Craigslist. We'll see what, remember yesterday's vlog, Chinese urns? We'll see how much we get. Don't think they're as valuable as we thought yesterday, thousands of dollars, but hey, it was fun to, fun to you know, dream for a second. All right, gonna fire up the grill and uh, get some steaks cooking. It is finally warm in Denver, officially summer, officially summer, no doubt, no doubt. No more uh, temperatures in the 50s and 40s and 30s. Why not? Question of the day. Do you like to barbecue? And what's your favorite recipe for the grill? All right, that'd be a great answer for everyone in the uh, YouTube family here because summer has started. And uh, now I know there's a little difference between charcoal versus gas grills, but um, any type of grill. What's your favorite recipe? Tough day. We're trying to stay positive, trying to be patient with the children, trying to be patient with ourselves, with each other. It's just been, all right, tip of the day, don't have a budget meeting, a family budget meeting on a Sunday. Do it on a Monday morning or a Tuesday morning. Don't do it on a Sunday when it's beautiful out and you got to talk about morning. Say, Bridget, maybe three hours ago, she did challenge me. She challenged me, she threw the vlog right back in my face when she said, I think right now we need to pause the discussion and be grateful for three things. That's right, you guys know the drill. Every day, be grateful for three things for 21 days straight and you change your brain. Oh, so that was a good challenge, hon, but uh, man, we're just, I didn't put enough charcoal on the grill, so it's taken forever to cook the steaks. These things, these things. And then Joseph throws in my face, Papa, we're not attached to material things. It's okay. Oh, cut you right to the heart, man. Cut you right to the heart. getting over a tough moment here. <laughs> we just had a tough moment, YouTube. It's been a crazy day. But the corn, the corn, corn is helping, right? The corn is the best corn I've ever had. It's the best corn she's ever I'm had. Right, because it's so good. Good. Thank you, honey. We're just surviving here, people. Like I said, never have a budget meeting on a Sunday. <laughs> my bad. My bad. It's my idea. It's my idea. <laughs> But the question of the day, hon, the question it? of the day was, uh, what is your favorite recipe for the grill? Ooh, ooh yeah. So, this is good. Let's get some answers going here. If you're let me, not commenting. Let me tell them about the corn. Oh, yeah. Here it comes to corn. Corn, corn situation. Mm -hmm. I hail from 60 miles south of Chicago, and this is how you do sweet corn. You get it from the store. Don't peel it. When you get home, like 40 minutes before you want 
to start cooking. Peel back little layer by layer until you're like halfway down and then pull all these off. I obviously didn't do a great job. <laughs> then pull the layers back up and fill up your sink till it can be covered. I put a lid on top of it, soak it for 25 minutes. Yep. And then, oh, before you do that, you cut the stem, kind of like you would trim a flower, just slice into it, yep. diagonal or whatever. And it soaks up the water. Yeah. And it's in your grill and it soaks up the juices. And it's like, oh, it'll make you cry. <laughs> and you throw some of that on there. Mm -hmm. And you crushed it. Oh. You crushed it. Oh. So, what's your favorite recipe? Comment below. This is perfect for summer. It's the beginning of the summer. Let's, uh, and if you have a great recipe, who knows? Maybe we'll try it. Oh, yeah, we will. In the next. Ten days. Day is done. Day is done. We are calling it. Basically, Bridget and I agreed that uh, the sooner we go to bed, the sooner we wake up, and the sooner we wake up is a new day, and it's going to be a better day than today, because today was a just rough all around. But the day is over. Dave finally answering your questions. I have not forgotten about you, sir. All right, Dave, remember this was from like five days ago, I think. I asked you guys, what do you want to ask me? And Dave had three uh, three questions for me. So Dave, here you go. And this connects to you all too. Assorted questions, Seth. Number one, what make slash model of running shoes do you use? Uh, so I am a Hoka guy, Dave, and Hoka is a newer running shoe brand company. Uh, basically, they have, I would describe the shoes as over cushion, like a lot of cushion, a lot of uh, support. And I've had stress fracture issues in the past and basically where your bones are like starting to break. So I go with Hoka Speed Goats is the is the uh, model that I that I wear. I love them. They're comfortable. I used to be a Nike guy in college and I used to be an Asics guy in high school. But now I'm a Hoka guy. Huh? Capiche? All right. Number two. What is your favorite noise or sound, and what is your least favorite? I have not thought about this at all. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I like birds in the morning. I know that's going to sound really cheesy, but, like, as long as they're not too early and they don't wake me up. But, like, when you're waking now in Colorado, if you wake up at, like, 530, the birds just start chirping a little bit. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Ah, is that good? All right, my least favorite. Um... I used to drive a Subaru. It was actually my brother's car, and somehow I ended up with it. And it just, like, it always sounded like the engine was struggling. Like, blah, 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 blah. like, you could always hear a Subaru coming down the road. It was always going down the road, which is good, but it always sounded... So I, did, I never liked the sound of a Subaru engine. Uh, that's not a great answer, but hey, I'm going to go with it for now. But does that work? Does that work, Dave? All right, question number three, last question. What is uh, your uh, favorite whiskey and why? So here in Colorado, we have a ton of craft beer. Too much. Too many craft beer places. But we don't have as many distilleries. So there are a few good ones. Of course, there's Stranahan's, which is the most popular. I, it's really good. Stranahan's is tasty but expensive. Uh, I do like Tin Cup, another local distillery here in Colorado, Tin Cup. Uh, why? Uh, well, price is right, and uh, but still tastes good. I would describe it as a... Kind of like a minerally taste, if that makes sense. And then if you want to jump over across the Atlantic to uh, Ireland, I would go with, uh, or I guess Scotland, uh, so probably, you know, Scotch whiskey. Basically, um, I like Laphroaig because uh, they have a great Instagram account. Hey, that, you asked why. That's why That's why I like Laphroaig. But as far as quality whiskey, I, I do like Ardbeg. Um, how would you describe Ardbeg? Definitely peaty. And um, full, like, it was a, it's a full peaty whiskey. But I used to like Macallan's, which is a very high-end whiskey, but I found out that they do a lot of, they add a lot of color to their whiskey to make it look better. And I don't like that. I don't want you adding color, whereas Ardbeg is straight, um, straight natural color. They don't, they don't do any additives or added color. So, all right, does that work, Dave? Does that work? I know that was, I kind of rushed through that, but... Um, I love you all. It was a hard day, but hey, still grateful for three things. And don't forget out there, be grateful for three things today. And we'll keep plugging away, people. Woo! All right. I'm not even going to close it out. I'm going to let the door do the work.